Labour Health Secretary General Patricia Scotland has observed that the electoral violence not only in Zambia but in Africa is the symptoms pointing to the bigger problem that needs to be solved. Speaking during the launch of a coalition for peaceful elections in Zambia in Lusaka, Scotland has urged the people of Zambia to remain united against political violence and ensure that all factors supportive of violence are eliminated. She urged the people to trust in the impartiality of the electoral bodies which has the power to bring parties together as failure to respect the rule of law will speak dooms to the country and the poor are the ones to suffer. Violence is usually distinct from other types. The main objective is to influence the electoral process. Such violence, which affects people, especially the most vulnerable groups in our society, could undermine the entire electoral process or process the election campaigns should be an opportunity to engage in political debate over issues and perspectives and not a platform for training insults and blows for democracy to flourish it is imperative that political parties and institutions embrace transparency, accountability, and respect for the rule of law. Failure to respect the rule of law undermines the <coughs> resolve to pursue prescribed legal channels to seek redress. She further adds that the contribution of the late president, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, to the Commonwealth is unmatched and the people have a duty to imitate the route left behind by Dr. Kaunda. Speaking at the same event, Sri Church Mother Body's representative, Father Emmanuel Chikoya, revealed that the church has been working hard to reconcile the political parties. He has called on all political players, especially the United Party for National Development and the ruling Patri Patriot Front and the people that are at the center of violence to be peaceful during these coming elections to allow the people make informed choices as the church is committed to promoting peace through dialogue for the good of the country. To all political players, although we know many of the instances uh, that have happened in terms of violence have really been domiciled within the PF and the UPNT uh, clashes. Yes, others have been involved as well, but uh, to a greater extent, uh, we see that most of the vicious violent instances are centered around there. So we are calling for the full participation of this and all political stakeholders so that we can move towards an election that is credible and guided by the free will of the voters. So this issue of launching the peace coalition uh, is very, very critical and necessary. To you, uh, all of us, uh, in terms of individuals, let us be part of this journey. Resident coordinator of the United Nations in Zambia, Kumba Magadio, who joined the meeting via Zoom, has urged the people to remain peaceful as the country heads towards the elections and observe the values and ethics as enshrined in the constitution. The political situation in Zambia, we are all aware that people are not happy to act to prevent political violence in the country. But we were also aware of the need for influence the public and all stakeholders to have confidence in the electoral process and demonstrate their commitment to peaceful and credible elections. And Zambia Center for Interparty Dialogue, Board Chair Payson Jackson Silavwe, has this to say. We are committed to see a peaceful and violence-free political environment, which is of great interest to all stakeholders and the nation at large. Margaret Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka.